Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to install your GNU uh, radio on the Windows 10. So we're gonna start. Uh, there is a link below the video and there is there are a couple of files so just extract them for example on your, on your local disk C and here here we start. So first of all, first of all we're gonna install uh, this file. I've already installed that so I'm gonna close it. Uh, the second is the Python. Uh, it's from the official website, the newest version of the uh, 2.7 installation. So just double click it. And if it asks you, just install it for all users. Uh, then you're going to need to check your environmental variables. So here right click on uh, this PC, properties, advanced system setting, environmental variables. Uh, here in the path. Uh, check if there is a, a C Python and Python scripts. If it isn't, uh, just uh, go where you've installed your Python. Mostly it will be located here. And just copy this. Uh, click for a new variable and enter these two variables. So after this, uh, you're gonna need uh, pip so just go to the Google and uh, write the uh, get pip and the first first link uh, here uh, click right on a get pip pi and click here this means save as I'm gonna save it on a desktop and after that I'm gonna open my uh, command prompt and I will just check if the Python works. So I'll write Python. As you can see, it works. Uh, Control Z. It's gonna bring me back to the command prompt. And uh, here I have to install the pip. So I'm gonna write Python. Get. Uh, sorry. First of all, I have to change the directory. So change directory to desktop. Where is my file? Then I'm gonna write uh, Python. Get. Uh, pip.py py I'm gonna execute it with enter wait a while it's gonna uh, install so now it's successfully installed uh, I'm gonna start uh, I need the pip to install these WHL files. So I'm going to start with this LXML. Uh, first of all, I'm going to change the directory where the components are. So control, uh, control C, change directory uh, here. And to install the components, I have to write pip install and the name of the file so sorry and execute the with enter uh, then you will continue with uh, these files uh, the numpy the python qt the python qwt it is not normal installation uh, so you will continue with a cheetah, then Python OpenGL, then Python G take A. There are two files. Uh, first, you're going to install this uh, through the pip, and then this is normal installation. Then you will continue with WX Python. There are uh, also two files. First, you're going to get this with pip. And this one you're going to use it uh, as normal installation again. So after that, you have to install your UHD driver. Uh, my SDR is on this version, so I'm going to install this. And again, if it asks you, uh, just click on uh, install for all users. And last thing is to install GNU Radio. Uh, just double click it and again if it asks you uh, just install it for all users now after all this installation we have to change the environmental variables again 
So I'm gonna click on uh, this PC, properties, advanced system setting, environment variables, and I'm gonna check if uh, there is a variable called uh, GRC block path. If it isn't, uh, just click on a new, uh, paste this this name and put the direct this directory there. Uh, then I'm gonna check the path. Uh, in the path you have to have these two pythons, uh, this UHD bin, GNU radio bin, and this library. And the last one is a Python path. And if it doesn't exist, just create it again. And the directory is C program file GNU radio library site packages. So after all this, uh, you can just run the GNU radio. Uh, these errors I've looked up on the internet and they are not really a problem and it works for me. So I've created this little program uh, and there is a there might be a problem if you are going uh, if you are creating some new program just save it as and don't don't save it here in a bin just save it on desktop or wherever you want or uh, you will have the error so I'm gonna execute it. Wait a while, and as you can see, uh, the Genu Radio works. So, thank you guys for watching, and I hope uh, this guy will help.